What's up guys, welcome to another episode of the Whiskey Wall. Now for those of you that do not know by this time, the, whis the Whiskey Wall is my idea of what whiskeys taste like. And it's very, very simple. Rather buy a beer. These are the whiskeys that I personally would not drink in a bar or in a social setting. In fact, I would steer clear of them according to my taste. Some of them are actually quite regarded whiskies, but having a personal opinion on them uh, sort of like skews my taste in the whiskies. In the middle, have it for a year. This is the stuff that I would beyond a doubt drink every single day at every single party all the time. And then last but not least, have it forever. This is the whiskies that if you really, really want to make my day, if you really want to make me happy, have this on hand. So let's jump into today's whiskey. This is John Barr. And to be very, very honest with you, I did not know that this existed. I have never seen this whiskey before. Um, I, I don't know it. So needless to say, when one of my friends, and this is where that shout out moment comes in, Linda, uh, when she bought me this, she said, hey, Peter, Listen, dude, here is a whiskey that I have never seen before. I saw it in this little liquor store. There was only one of them. Um, and I bought it for you because I know about the whiskey wall. So now that you know about the whiskey wall and you know that my th friends think that the whiskey wall is worth it, hit that subscribe button. Back to the whiskey. So I actually had to do some research. So here we go. Yes, this is where that moment comes into play. The old type of thing. Um, this is what you need to know about this whiskey. Okay, so in 1970s, apparently there was an issue between the guys that produced and sold Johnny Walker in the UK. So this little bad boy was created to stand in the place of Johnny Walker Red. Um, the bottle mimicked the shape, the colors, of the red and the gold, everything was to sort of like present or represent the lost share of the Johnny Walker red label. And what basically happened, apparently this wasn't very good at that stage in time. In fact, it wasn't very highly regarded according to this article on scotchwhiskey.com. Um, basically what happened, it was bought out by the guys of, let me just have a quick look over here. Um, it was bought out and eventually sold, let me just see, oh, Guinness. Guinness were the guys that bought it out in the in the 80s. And when they bought it out, they had to sell some of their uh, smaller companies that was within that purchase. And they eventually sold it to the guys from White and McKay in 1993. Um, and White and McKay was gracious enough to basically drop their name over there and the year in which they started which was 1881 so um white and mckay very very old distillery they picked this bad boy up and they said you know what let's let's improve this and um what happened was uh, their um master blender at the time this was around 1993 a gentleman called richard patterson he became the man behind its makeup and apparently he improved it significantly. Now the question is, has he improved it to such a point where it could land in the have it for a year or have it forever category? And here we go. So now you've got the backstory on it. Um, the packaging, this is how I received it. Uh, when I printed out the little um, icon or when I printed out the little piece of paper for the whiskey wall, uh, there was a box on this one. Um, I didn't get mine with a box, which is a little bit unfortunate, but needless to say, it is what it is. One thing that I do have to admit that is pretty cool on this bottle is if you have a look over there, there's sort of like little logo. Um, it's like like a monogram. Yeah, instant, yeah, it's a cool logo. I like that. Um, doesn't have a nice top on it, no cork, which is something that I personally love about drinking whiskey. 
it's got one of these international you basically have to shake it like ketchup to get it out i hate that um i'll let it sit for a few seconds just to well that's what i usually do i let it sit for a few seconds get some water in it get it nice and cold so for me the next two important things it's the story it's the packaging and then we go over into the idea of what it tastes like what it smells like and whether it's any good so immediately onto that little bad boy oh yes by the way the bottle for those of you that know i prefer and i like long slender bottles this little square bottle there's something cool about it it's it's cool that's that's it i'm just going to leave it there it's it's cool Okay, so up to this point, everything is actually pretty decent. It's, you know, not too bad, shabby packaging, a nice bottle. Uh, the top is okay. The little symbol on there, that, that's something that I personally like. It's like a little detail. Um, the history, meh, okay. But let's... Oof. Okay, so when it comes to smoothness, you don't want your whiskey to remove the enamel off your teeth. And um, I just took a whiff of this, and I won't lie to you, it, uh, <laughs> it makes me want to tear up. And um, so I'm a little bit scared, I won't lie. Mm. Yeah. Okay, that's enough of that. Much smoother than I thought, I won't lie, but it feels like I just took a nice dram of spirits. Sorry, Mr. Blender person, but this does not hit the mark. That grain and Scottish whiskey. No, this, this is definitely the the British half brother, yeah, that that Johnny Walker should never have had. That, no, um, guys, no. Ugh. Just, just, just very, very, very no. Um, if you're ever in a bar and they serve John Bar. Um, yeah, unfortunately, that bar has not been set high at all. Uh, I would stay away. That, this is not good at all. <laughs> okay. Um, so usually I would go, if you like this video or if you agree or disagree, let me know in the comments below. If you agree with my assessment that it is all the way over there, rather have a beer. In fact, I think I would rather have a beer to get this taste out of my mouth. Uh, then let me know below if you think that this is the best whiskey ever made and that I should think twice and reconsider drinking more of this please also let me know and I would usually say at the end of a video until next time cheers and then take a nice sip but until the next whiskey please may it come soon cheers